As you enter, look in your right side to see the exit of the crawway. So the explorers went from this way. Oh, that's the, when they came the first time? Yeah. It's the exit. Just watch your head. If you go down, there is few bench. You can have a seat or even the rock walls. Those exploradores vieram daquele quarto até esse que usando aquela Oh, so <laughs> 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 really dark space. <laughs> Probably dark than now. There is no lights at all at the time, right? And the stomach in mind. The stomach in mind always grows from the floor up to the ceiling. At the ceiling, you can see the stalactites. Easy to remember the name because they are tied to the ceiling. They grow always from the ceiling down to the floor. When a stalagmite and a stalactite don't match each other, sorry, when they met each other in the middle, they form like that bond with each other. We call them ribbon. The ribbon is formed by flow water in. You can see the ribbon, the cake. If you look here, the formation right there of the print power, that's cave bacon. <laughs> For me, that formation right there is like a roasted chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Down here. Thank you. 
As you walk here, did you got any drip on you? Yes. We call these a cave keys. <laughs> Get a little scared because the water is really cold, but it's just rainwater. <laughs> and they say if the cave keys you on the forehead, by mistake of course, you have seven years of blood. <laughs> Yeah, he'd be by mistake because I know where is the drip is. I can just stand there. <laughs> All right, folks, you are right now at the second largest room in our tour. But this room has the largest formations. We are right now 150 feet below the Napa Bridge. This room is 50 feet wide, 50 feet tall, 250 feet long. Welcome to the castle of the White Giant. <laughs> to present to you our three my giants very soon going to walk with me to the center of the So this means our explorers came from the wide giant room to this room. 
So the pressure of the water was holding the ceiling. But we got hit by earthquakes that opened large cracks like this one right here. So in this ceiling, in particular, these cracks crisscross. So this means the ceiling was weak and unstable. And when the water was not heavy anymore to hold the ceiling, the ceiling started to collapse layer by layer. But did everything fall apart a long time ago? How I know it's safe to be here? Just look at these formations, one cubic inch. So just looking at these formations, we are sure they are sitting here for a long, long time without a break or collapse. Probably thousands of years. So this room is really safe. But where is the layer that fell from the ceiling? Formation that look like lazy donuts. Everybody okay? <laughs> Thumbs up if you're still alive. Woo! I gotta stop a little bit here to take pictures. Now I'm lying for brief. Some people just looking at the formation can see. Mm -hmm.